Welcome to the Internet Empowerment Series of Video Tutorials, hosted by author Deltina Hay and sponsored by Plum Web Solutions and Drury University's Social Media Certificate Program. I'm Deltina Hay, and these tutorials are based on my book, The Social Media Survival Guide, already in its second edition. Visit my blog at socialmediapower.com for more social media tips and learn more about my book and my availability for speaking engagements at deltina.com. Neither Deltina Hay nor her sponsors are affiliated with any of the services or tools highlighted in this series. In this session, we discuss creating a YouTube gallery on your website using playlists. Now, in a previous session, we talked about how to create a YouTube embedded video gallery on your website using Custom Player. But unfortunately, Custom Player doesn't exist in YouTube anymore, so we're going to show you a workaround. First of all, make certain you're logged into YouTube, and then go up here and pull down your account information, and then click on Videos. So the steps we're going to follow here is we're going to create a playlist, we're going to add some videos to our playlist, and then we're going to embed that playlist on our website as a gallery. So the first thing we do is click on New Playlist. We're going to give us a temporary name just for our purposes today and click Create. Now if we were creating this gallery as a public gallery we would give it a longer description utilizing key terms and then we would also put in a list of really good key terms in down here in our tag section. But we're just creating this playlist for our purposes today so we won't take the time to do that. Now also know that you can make your gallery public or private. We're going to keep this one public so that we can actually create our gallery out of it. And then click on Save Changes. Now that we have our playlist, we're going to go up to our uploaded videos. and We're going to add some of these videos to the playlist. And one of the things I want to point out right here is that you're not limited by your own videos or your own uploaded videos in order to make playlists or to embed them on your website. You can do the same thing using some favorited videos. So you can create playlists and video galleries out of any public videos that exist on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is scroll down here and select by checking the little checkbox to the left here a few videos for us to place in our example playlist so that we'll have a few videos to feature in our gallery. And once I have those selected I'm going to pull down add to playlist and I'm going to select our example playlist and then click Add to Playlist. So now when we go down here to the playlist section again and click on our test gallery, scroll down a little bit and you'll see some embed code. Now what this code is, is it will allow you to place a gallery on your website that actually features the videos that we just added to that playlist. So the first thing we want to do is copy that code and then we're going to go over to our website and place the code in the website where we want the video gallery to appear. Now this example is using WordPress so when I when I embed something like this in WordPress I want to make certain that I'm in the HTML view and not visual view. You can place this type of a gallery in a WordPress post or a WordPress page. This happens to be a page, so you would click on Add New, give your page a title, and then just embed the code in the HTML view. So that when we preview the results, what we'll see is a collection of videos that your users or visitors can now watch either back to back or by selecting them individually. So if you click the play button right here it's going to play the videos or you can also advance 
to the next video in the series by clicking this button here. Now also note that once a video starts playing and you scroll down into this area here, you'll see all of the other videos that are in that playlist. Okay, so that is how we would actually embed the video gallery or the playlist gallery into a website. But I also want to show you a way to do that with with any playlist. It doesn't have to be your own playlist. So if we go back to our account area and we, we pull this little area down here, notice what it what this area does in here is it shows your your playlist, some of your favorites, things that you've liked or you know clicked or selected to watch later, etc. If you click on a playlist, it will actually show you a little embed button that you can use also to embed any playlist into your website. So you don't have to create your own playlist if you happen to uh, stumble upon one that you already like. You can use that. The thing I want to note here though is in this particular screen you want to make certain that you don't click here because that's going to just play them. It's not going to show you the embed button. You want to click down here. So when we click there, we'll see the videos that are in the playlist. And then here is that embed button I told you about. So if we click here, then again, we would go through the same process of just copying that code and putting it over onto our website. Now I want to go actually back to our website demonstration and show you that you can control the width and height of your of your embedded gallery also by changing these numbers right here. Now you want to change them proportionately and so you want to either take percentages of the numbers by you know multiplying them both by you know 0.75 or 0.5 to make certain you still get the same proportions. But but the other thing I wanted to note is that there, you see the same numbers right down here in the code. You also want to make certain that you change those too. And so that will allow you to you know, make your gallery larger or smaller, depending on your needs. Now if you want to know how to change some of the other parameters in this playlist gallery, then YouTube actually has them listed on their site. For those of you who are a little more adventurous, you can go to the URL code dot google dot com slash apis slash youtube slash player underscore parameters dot html what this will show you are all of the different parameters that are available for you to change in your embedded player and so you could use some of the example code here or some of the instructions on changing the parameters and then change them accordingly back over into the code that we embedded and so that concludes this session. Uh, we thank you for listening today. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in enhancing your resume with a social media certificate from an accredited university, then visit socialmediacertificate.net for information on the online courses I teach for Drury University. Please also visit our sponsor, Plum Web Solutions. That's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com.